May June 2021, Paper 2, Variant 2, Question Number 4. Uh, the topic is uh, stationary wave superposition. So, Part A. For a progressive wave, state the what is meant by the uh, its period. Time required for a complete wave progress to a point is called period. State the principle of superposition. When two waves meet at a point, then the resultant displacement is the sum of individual displacement. Part 3. Electromagnetic wave of wavelength 0 0.04 beta is uh, emitted in phase from two sources x and y and travel in a vacuum. The arrangement of the source is shown by this. Uh, two waves here is coming from x and y and meet at a point x, z. And this is the electromagnetic wave having the wavelength of 0 0.04 meter. A, detect a detector moves along a path that is parallel to the line x, y, a pattern of intensity maxima and minima is detected. Distance xz is 1.380 and yz is 1.240. Right, uh, part one. State the name of the region of the electromagnetic spectrum that contains the wave from x y. So we need to uh, memorize this. This wave is uh, which is having 0.04.0. .04 4 meter is the microwave. So we need to memorize. Calculate the periods of in picosecond of the wave. So speed equals lambda times uh, 1 over t. So 3 meters power 8, 0 0.04, 1 over t. So t will be 133. So uh, as we have, uh, the thing is in, uh, in, uh, in, Three significant figures, so we can write 133. 130. Right? <clears throat> Three. Show that the part difference at point Z between the waves from X and Y is 3.5 lambda, where lambda is the wavelength of the wave. Part difference is X2 minus X1, which is uh, uh, one point here it is 1.38 minus 1.24, which is 0.14. So, 0.14 is in terms of lambda is 0.14 divided by lambda multiplied by lambda, which is 0.14 divided by 0 0.04. So, this will be 3.5 of lambda. So, 3.5 means it's a destructive interference it's a destructive interference so calculate the phase difference between the wave at point z. so the equation is delta phi over delta z delta x 360 over lambda right delta phi 0.14 that is the delta x uh, with its wavelength 0 0.04 times 360 we will get 1260 which is 1260 degree, right? <clears throat> and uh, if we divide 1260 and we know it, it's a, it's a, a destructive, so 1260 divided by 180, we will get the number of turns. So either we could write 1260 or we could write 180. The waves from X alone have the same amplitude at Z point Z and, at the, and, and the waves from Y alone. Same, right? Both have the same amplitude. State the intensity of the waves at point Z. So, 1260, 1260 is the destructive interference and is the multiple of 180 degree. So, amplitude is 0. So, the intensity will also be 0. The frequencies of the waves from X and Y are both lower value. So, if we decrease the lambda and the speed of the wave is the same, so lambda will increase, right? 
if it is increased then from the equation uh, x equals lambda d over a which is d is the distance between the point of uh, uh, starting point of a wave and where it is uh, it becomes in density maxima so it's d a is the part difference over x and x is the fringe separation so if d and a is constant then lambda means wavelength is directly proportional to the fringe separation so lambda increases fringe separation distance between the two adjacent maxima increases 